1942 was a season of rebuilding for the Hoosiers of Indiana University. New coach Bernie Crimmins was trying to put together the framework of next year's squad. The Hoosiers lacked depth and size, but they developed throughout the year and ended the season just a few feet away from a tremendous victory over their great rival, Purdue. Indiana's coach Bernie Crimmins is the youngest head mentor in the tough Western Conference. Senior fullback and all Big Ten choice Gene Gedman teamed up with quarterback Lou DeChilly to form one of the conference's trickiest combinations. Let's watch this duo in action. As Lou DeChilly passes to Gene Gedman, and it's good for 17 yards. And now on this next play, the two Hoosiers team up a second time to pick up yardage on a pass. Gedman makes a great catch to pull it down. The Hoosier aggregation was equally rugged on defense as on offense. With Northwestern in possession of the ball, the Hoosier line breaks through and smothers Wildcat Dick Thomas. Now let's go down in the field to watch this play. Earl Fisher picks out his target, Jerry Ellis, and the pass play is good for quick yardage. This time, DeChilly sends halfback Earl Fisher downfield, then sends an aerial on its way. The play scores six points for Indiana. An outstanding freshman on the Indiana squad was halfback Lester Kuhn. Here he takes the throw from DeChilly, fights desperately to regain his balance and his footing, then goes all the way 67 yards. Although Gedman and DeChilly are graduating this year, Coach Bernie Crimmins has an outstanding group of returning veterans for 1950.